Hello guys, welcome back to the projects. I am back with another video. So in this video, we are not going to make any project. We are going to see how to read JSON data from JSON file, which is stored inside raw directory in our Android Studio. So sometimes we have a static JSON data and we want to show that data in our application. And while showing that data, we are going to face lots of difficulty. Like we don't know how to fetch the read the JSON file from raw directory how to get the JSON array, JSON object and we are going to do everything about raw directory in this video. So in this video we will learn how to read the JSON file from raw directory and how to show that data in our text view or wherever you want to use it. So don't forget the delay, now let's start the video. If you don't like the video, then please like the video. If you don't subscribe to the channel, now, then please subscribe to the channel. So now let's start the video. So I open my Android Studio. So here you can see in my raw directory there is a dummy JSON file, and you can see now this is the curly braces, and this is the data which is present inside the curly braces. Now one thing I want to tell you, you should understand what is the difference between JSON array and JSON object. So if something starts from curly bra braces, then it means it is an entire JSON object. So you can see I have how many of JSON object I have. I have only one JSON object. Now this JSON object contains some data. So you can see it contains this JSON string, this JSON string, this JSON string, but this JSON array. So I have an array of post type. So you can see the array name is post. Now inside post, you can see this is the array. Now this array contains a several JSON object here. So you can see this is single JSON object. This is also single. So it contains these JSON object maybe it contain 10 JSON object so you can see it contain 10 JSON object now inside this JSON object we have again a string which contain title body user ID and in, again we have a tax name array so this is the entire structure of any JSON so if you going to see any JSON from any API the structure will look like something like that so you should only need to understand what is JSON string what is JSON array and what is JSON object so hope you understand what is the difference now let's see how to read it so I open my main activity so you can see I just have a inside activity main XML file I have just have a one text view where I am going to show that data. So first of all I need to read the data from our raw directory then I need to show this. So first of all I am using Kotlin but you can use Java as well but it is better to shift on Kotlin if you are not using Kotlin till now. So just I declare a variable of JSON data. So I just keep the variable name JSON data but it is not a data type hope you understand. Now for reading data JSON file from raw. I just need to take application context resources and you can take any context not only application it is totally depend on you and we need to open raw resource and inside this open raw resource what we need to pass we need to pass our file name our def type so first of all we have a json file so just type here application context dot resources dot get identifier and inside this pass your file name so my file name is dummy so I just type a dummy you don't need to pass extension then take a comma just type your def type which is we are reading from the raw and at last what we need it is a package name so application dot package name we need to pass this so this is done now after this we will going to read as a string so buffer reader and inside this we need to use it use use pass your read text So now this JSON data contain entire JSON data in the form of JSON object. So this is done. So now finally we have a JSON data. You can log a message here if you want to see whether this contains something or not. But it is better to convert into a string first of all before using it. So output JSON string I just take another variable and this is you can see this entire JSON data is in form of object. So I just use here JSON object typecast and inside this I pass this string json data so now this output json string contain the entire string of json object so now if i can log log.d tag data and if i can i want to, if i want to print i can print it now let's see how to read inside this json object let us suppose i want to fetch this entire post array and i want to display title and body from this but you can display anything but let us suppose i just want to display id a title so for this what i have to do first of all i need to take the post array so you can see I want to show post data so I need to take the post array from my string JSON string so just take a variable well post you can give any variable name so output JSON string dot get JSON array because you can see post is the type of array so the name of this is post 
and you need to type cast this as a JSON array because we are going to get it as a JSON array. Now we need to use a loop here i in 0 until post dot length. So it will going to give us all object which is present inside the post array. Now I can store any data which I want to take my from post array. So post dot get JSON object. I want to get single object from a single item. And now I need to pass the index. So let us suppose if I want first item, then I will need to pass the 1, 2, 3. So because you know this is the array and array index start from 0. So I just pass here i. And now I want to get a single value JSON string. So get string. So you can type here get string or you can just type the man name manually. So you can see now inside id I have id and inside title I have a title. So control D copy this. Now I want to just take two things id and title. So now I have bought data of and it is present inside the loop. So now I can say I have all 15 objects data which is present inside the post array. So hope you understand how it is easy to read from a JSON file if it is present in raw. Now let me print this data on text view to show whether we are reading it correct or not. So I just take a variable val id where I am going to concatenate with the id. So dollar then backslash n then we have a title then again backslash n I have one previous data as well on my text view because if I want to show all data on text view because I am not using the cycle view so I have to fetch the previous data first from text view hope you understand why I am doing this and then I need to show this data on my text view so text view dot set text equal previous data posting plus data so finally guys this application is ready and in this video I will tell you how to read the data from JSON. So now let's run this application see whether it is working or not. So I press on run button Gradle start building. So Gradle build successful. So you can see now on my text view I have entire data id 6, 7 up to 15 and then you know in my area this is there are up to 15. So this is the end of this video. I hope guys you learn something new in this video. If you have any question, if you have any query, just comment down below. This is just a short video but very informative video and this video can help you anytime while making or developing a big project. So I hope guys you love this video. If you have any question, just comment down below. So thank you guys. See you soon in next amazing video. Thank you.